Okay, guys, time to do a little foundry casting. Uh, uh, Tubal Kane did a video on um, making a little jig to put 60 degree on your um, high speed cutters. And he says, I'm not going to go into detail on it, you can just mill it out. Well, I didn't have any aluminum big enough. So I figured I'll have fun all the way across the board. So I took uh, DraftSight, the CAD program, and I drew up the, uh, the print. Then I took it and put it into um, Vectric uh, 6.5 and um, put all the tool paths in and made out the G-code and then I machined out a bunch of the fixtures. Now he did quarter inch, that's this size, but I also have three eighths and I also have five sixteenths so I'm, I'm still gonna make one in between the two this is quarter inch, this is five uh, three eighths, and I'm going to make um, another one um, for five sixteenths. So I'll have three different sizes. And of course, you always you always pour more than one in, in case one doesn't come out right, or you screw up when you when you cut it all apart. So here's uh, here's two molds for the. Um, for the three eighths, and then here's two molds for the quarter inch, and now I'm trying this one here. I didn't fill the bolt holes. I'm just going to try and push some sand in with my finger, just to get some sand in the holes to keep the holes there. But this one here is, if you watched the other video, um, I put in the um, the uh, yeah, what is that stuff? I can't remember the name of it. Uh, that glue uh, for for foam. It won't melt uh, the foam, but what else it doesn't do is it won't burn out like the foam will burn out in your ca in your uh, when you pour your casting. So, according to theory, this this should stay in place keeping that hole in place and I went all the way through and got it on both sides and made sure it's all the way through it and uh, so we'll, we're going to see if this will preserve the hole it's like a poor man's Corsan it's simpler you just squirt it in the hole smooth it off and let it dry so that's the um, the uh, the preliminary. Now I'm gonna stop the camera. I'm gonna go start up the furnace and start melting aluminum. And when I come back, we should have uh, these in the, in the flask and all set to be poured. And the aluminum should be almost ready to uh, ready to take out of the furnace. Let's see what happens. Okay, the little one's right. Okay. Oh, I forgot to turn the camera on. Up. In.
I see three uh, riders that went over on this side didn't come out. I don't know why. This one came out, that one came out, this one came out. So, we got enough. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna melt some more aluminum. So I'll put this back in. Keep it warm. Another 15-20 minutes and I'll dump it out and we'll see what we got. Stay tuned. <laughs> 